Okay, so I hear an issue right away, uh, and it's something that I talked about um, in the URM group, and it's that my uh, snare mics and snare sample are not in phase. They're, they're actually pretty out where I can actually hear them flamming a little bit, and there may be, there may be points where my, my MIDI actually isn't totally on. Um, there's a lot of hits in an Archfire album, and I'm, I maybe didn't get every single one completely phase accurate. And uh, you just work around that if you have to. But most of them should be. And we are going to use a tool to get those in place uh, off the bat. So let's find, um, I want to find a spot that's not too crazy fast. And get these set up. So I'm going to loop this snare part right here. Since I have mics here and samples here, the rest of the kit at this point I've already phase aligned. Uh, but I can run it off these two groups uh, right here. Auto align, snare mics would be the master, so we'll send out of that into the samples, receive. Adjust that little uh, kind of trigger level to make sure that nothing is bleeding through and just let this play for a bit. You can see it reversed polarity for me and pulled the samples back seven samples. And it sounds a lot better. Uh, this, sorry, this is off. And on. Obviously, tons more body. I mean, that was like a glaring mistake. Um, I realized that after I submitted files for you guys that I had this auto line running live on the session and it wasn't bounced because it was on a group, not a channel. And um, tried to make it a point to tell you guys to check face because if you didn't, that, that kind of screw you from the beginning. And, you know, maybe it was a lesson in learning how to um, always check face. hear that stuff. Yeah. You can go crazy with phase. Phase is one of those things that I wish didn't exist and I wish I just didn't ever have to think about. It's not fun, it's not very creative, it's just like a technical part of mixing and blending um, um, different mics on a single source that y you just have to be aware of, but it's not fun, it's not creative, not usually creative anyway. Um, and if, if I could just like make that a part of the world that would just go away, that all, all mics would just perfectly be in phase all the time, I would do it like that. Because uh, cause it just it becomes a pain in the ass. Like, when I first discovered this auto line plugin, and I do use it a good amount on drums, um, almost always between overheads, often between snare and overheads, sometimes even I'll phase align room mics if it works for the project. It's kind of on a per project basis. But when I started using that on drums, and it just makes a big difference, especially on some tracks that I get to mix that I didn't record and I couldn't check those things when they were being recorded. Um, I was kind of pissed because then I had to buy it and then two, it adds like another couple hours step to, to my process of getting drums ready to mix that kind of a pain in the ass, no fun. It's not, you know, it's just technical stuff. Stuff I would uh, schlep off to an assistant if I um, would choose to work with an assistant. So, but anyway, in this case, I think all we have to really do is those, the snare and the sample and that's done. So those will just live there forever.